Well, welcome everyone to this week's episode of Jim and Java. I'm Jim Dempsey, your host. Welcome to Jim and Java, the weekly program where I answer your fundraising questions. I'm excited to be back with you this week. Well, you'll notice that we've got a brand new studio and that uh, we're recording on some better, more upgraded equipment. So hopefully you'll enjoy the quality and the video sound of this uh, this program and it that it'll make for a much better experience for you. It's been a very, very busy few weeks. I don't know if it's been that way for you, but uh, things continue to ramp up, especially with spring events. I've got multiple spring events that are on the docket, and it's been a really, really busy time just helping coach some of our of our teams and also preparing for a large major donor weekend event that I'm doing. And so our organization is, uh, it, we have a, a good chunk of our budget comes from one weekend event that we're doing. Uh, it's a great event where our individuals are challenged to come for a weekend event. I've done a broadcast on this in the past. I did one on site at the Hotel Del Coronado. If you want to watch that, that's out there. And so it, uh, it's an exciting event where we get an opportunity to share our mission, vision, values, and where we're heading in the future. And hopefully people will be excited. We've got about 200 people coming, and uh, it's about 100 plus units. So we're really excited about that prospect. Well, let's dive right into our first question of the day. Our first question today is from Mandy in State College, Pennsylvania. And Mandy asks, I'm interested in social media frequency. We typically only post when we have a fundraising need or event. Would you recommend pictures in all posts? General news? Well, Mandy, thanks again for that question. It's a great one. Uh, I get that so often. And when we venture, first venture into social media, of course, I was this way as well. Uh, We just think that whenever an opportunity comes up and when a need comes up, we'll post that on social media. And of course, that's that's a great way to do things. And it gets it out on different platforms. Uh, It also brings it out to different age groups. Uh, Facebook tends to get more of an older audience, whereas Instagram and TikTok, of course, are going to get, for the most part, a younger audience. And then Twitter is somewhere in between. So all those social media platforms posting on those kinds of things are are very good uh, and it's very important. But just posting on occasion doesn't really build your your base of individuals who are interested in what you're doing. Those social media platforms are specifically designed for people to use them and use them with frequency. That's how, uh, especially YouTube, uh, well, all the social media platforms, uh, Instagram, That's how they sell advertising based on how much time people are spending on those. And the more time that they can keep you on those platforms, the better it is for them. And of course, they're going to be pushing those individuals or those uh, accounts that are going on there frequently and getting their people to go on there frequently as well too. So they will get a distinct advantage and will definitely push out better than others will. And so you need to make sure that you begin to post with some frequency. Uh, At a minimum, I would say you should be posting once a week If you can post every couple days, that would be significantly better. Uh, I would say work up to the point where you get to at least one post a day. And if you've got a particular cause, 
uh, and you need to promote that particular cause, whether it be a Christian school, uh, whether it be a rescue mission, whatever that particular cause is, you want to just really capture life, all that's going on. If you have a homeless shelter, then you're going to be posting pictures uh, some of before some of the individuals who are coming in and then after after lives are impacted after lives have changed if it's a christian school you're going to be uh posting pictures that are of activities that you do now i would imagine with a school you would have to be careful about confidentiality with kids you'd have to be careful about the um getting permission slips from parents and things like that. But I've got to believe that there are things that you could be taking photos of and uh, and posting on there. School, school bus, uh, things where you cannot not identify specific kids. Uh, those are the kinds of things that I would say should go out there on a social media platform. But just once again, increasing the frequency, and I, I've said this so many times before, the ideal that a frequent social media poster will have is three times a day, which is unbelievable. And I would never advocate jumping to that number or that quantity immediately like that. But what you need to be doing is you need to be looking for ways to, um, to promote this. And you need to look at posting as frequently as you possibly can handle. If you can handle once a week, then do it. If you can work your way up to two times a week, even better. If you can work your way up to five times a week, it's the old adage, how do you eat an elephant one bite at a time? So don't immediately jump from posting occasionally to posting daily. It's too hard of a step, too hard of a process. I would look at posting occasionally from what you said to even once a week, start with that. See how that works, how easy that is. Then move up to the next level, which might be every other week, and then of every other week to five times a week, and then possibly even seven times a week. But don't just dive in with both feet. Now, what do you put on there? Certainly, you could put general information. Certainly, you should put as much as you possibly can information about events, activities that you're doing. But I would say those photos, those connection, if it's a rescue mission, if it's a homeless shelter, if you are, are battling individuals with human trafficking, um, those kinds of things are much more difficult to find photos because of the confidentiality side of things. But there may be aspects or things that you could put on there that aren't as confidential uh, in, a, in a particular post. So make sure that you are looking for things that are going to grab their attention as much as you possibly can. Now, again, some platforms favor videos over still photos. Instagram is pushing that so strongly. Uh, of course, YouTube has always been about videos, uh, but consider YouTube shorts. You don't have to do 10-minute videos. You could do uh, a short video and make it very, very simple and make it very easy that way. Instagram, uh, as I said, is favoring uh, videos. Those also are short, and TikTok as well, too. But utilize something like Facebook. Uh, Facebook uh, allows you to have still photos and doesn't favor at this point the videos over the stills. So I would look at that as a possibility as well, too. And then, of course, uh, the possibility that uh, you can... Um, you can work through Twitter messages and possibly even LinkedIn as well, too. So, Mandy, I hope 
that helped you. Uh, I hope that helps with the frequency and the content. I appreciate your efforts and all that you're doing to make a difference. And I also appreciate the rest of you and all that you are doing to make a difference in your world. If you liked what you heard today, if you like these improvements and you're not subscribing yet, please consider subscribing. Just click the subscribe button and click the bell and be notified of when our videos come out next. And we will be here for you when, we, when you need us. I am out on Instagram at Jim W. Dempsey. Also on Twitter at Jim W. Dempsey. And use the hashtag Jim and Java if you've got questions. We use these here. Uh, you can reach me at jdempsey0813 at gmail.com. And as always, I wish you the best as you strive to get fully funded. Thanks a lot. We'll see you in the next video.